Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, this is a little segment I like to call Walk and Talk. And you're with the Body Beatdown, me, Michael. I'm your most awesome host of this incredible channel. Hope everybody is doing well on this Friday morning or whatever time it is and you're part of the world. Whew. So, Friday morning. <sighs> it's cold out. I'm tired of being cold, guys. Tired of it. Dreary, nasty looking out. It's actually like spitting snow on me right now. I just noticed. Like little teeny tiny somethings. So, workout schedule today is back. And if you've been following my channel, you know I've been doing an experiment where I'm only doing one movement per body part. What that means is today I'm only going to be doing Smith Machine bent rows. And I'll probably do about 15 sets. My reasoning behind that is just to see what these one movements do to that body part. How they feel, how I feel at the end of this little experiment I'm doing. I'm doing a six week experiment. I'm on my third week. <sighs> Today actually finishes up the third week. Tomorrow I do deads. Saturday is dedicated to just uh, deads. Now sometimes I do go ahead and throw in another body part, which is typically my biceps. I'll do a few sets, just some bicep curls, and uh, just give them a little bit more workout. They're one of my uh, lagging body parts for sure, because I don't have a lot of strength in them. Got tendonitis, tennis elbow, something going on, and arthritis in my wrist as well, and so I'm not able to train biceps, you know, too heavy. So anyway, <sighs> on the menu today, when I get in from my walk, it's going to be my standard breakfast burrito that I make. The ingredients are a low calorie tortilla and a sprinkle of some shredded cheese typically Mexican blend nice squirt of man uh, mayonnaise <sighs> yeah a nice squirt of mustard uh, spinach leaves salsa hot sauce and eggs now on that I also put mrs. dash table blends and black pepper Give it a little bit more yummy flavor and I've already had a couple of mandarin oranges today already had my French vanilla coffee this morning that's usually the first things I do Whew. supper today I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for supper today huh that's a tricky one. Probably, oh, probably chicken. Probably chicken. Uh, we have a rotisserie chicken my wife bought. Now, I don't buy those. Uh, if I want chicken, I get a chicken and bake it myself. But my wife got a rotisserie chicken, a couple of them yesterday, and I ate. I made uh, chicken wraps, burritos, whatever you want to call them, last night with some. And uh, today, I'll probably take some of the leftovers if there are any still which there might not be anyway if there are I might eat that if not I'll make my own chicken I don't know I'm rambling on here guys it's walk and talk that's what we do Whew. there's one of the limbs that fell down yesterday from our 
little ice storm big old limb these limbs here were hanging all the way down touching my bus when I went by very surprised that they didn't snap and there was a limb back here at the back of the community whenever I was doing my walk I heard <laughs> And I was like, oh crap, tree's falling, something's falling. I was looking around and, and uh, there was a good size, at least one limb on another tree back here cracking. Looking like it's about ready to snap. It might be down on the ground today, I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah, it don't take much. Get a little bit of ice on things and things start snapping. Luckily, we didn't lose power or anything. Everything was good, so. And there was no ice accumulation on the road. It was just on everything, you know, trees and power lines and your vehicles, stuff like that. Luckily, it didn't set up on the road at all, so that was good. Whew. So... Of course we like millions and millions of other Americans we got our income tax and that's always a good feeling when you get that and we always try to do not always but we try to do smart things with our income tax along with a little bit of enjoyment as well for ourselves so we got our property taxes paid we got New brakes put on the car front and back. Got an oil change. A couple things. Uh, bought some, bought a few groceries and oh heck, I don't know what else. Uh, we did something else. I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, we went out and ate. We. I never go eat and we don't even if we do uh, we end up you know we don't go out to eat often at all together we're on different schedules but we went out and had a nice celebratory dinner and I kept my meal nice and nice and healthy and good nice steak and some vegetable beef soup and no not vegetable beef uh, vegetable soup and some rice and a nice salad only thing I did on the salad different than what I normally would do these days is I used ranch dressing instead of a nice vinaigrette or something something lighter I wanted to have ranch because it's a restaurant that I love and I've loved it since I was a little kid and uh, and they have the best ranch dressing on the planet it's just a nice you know uh, flavored thick ranch dressing it's so good so I treated myself to some ranch dressing and I enjoyed it uh, man Whew. man I'm tired of the cold guys oh I know what else I did I know what I did uh, after we paid some things and got the car done and did all that good adult stuff we both got a, a little share of the cut and uh, with my share I got enough put back uh, that I can cover the expenses of some of the action figures that I have on pre-order uh, from the Masters of the Universe Revelation TV series on Netflix go watch it if you haven't so I got money put back for those to cover all that and uh, the rest I used to get me a new phone. Uh, my phone was just garbage. Just absolute garbage. <laughs> so they all start out amazing and before you know it they turn to garbage. I do think it's the companies that zap them and, and uh, slow them down and bug them and everything else. Number one, I don't personally install hardly any apps at all. So, I know it ain't so much on my end, and I'm not browsing, you know, websites, you know, you know what I'm saying. 
I'm not browsing those websites or anything on my phone. I don't do that. On the computer, maybe. I'm human. Leave me alone. So, uh, anyway. And also, a couple months back or so, I dropped the stupid phone in the toilet. I ripped the phone out of its case. And whenever I did that, I ripped the power button off the side of my phone. And so I've had it rigged this whole time with part of a... I had a teeny tiny itsy bitsy piece of a paper clip kind of folded in half you know kind of bent and then stuck in the hole and then a piece of tape over it and then put the phone back in the case so it gives it some sort of a rubbery buttony feel and it's just been garbage so anyway long story longer got a nice new phone yesterday of course it's a budget phone i don't get expensive phones my phones are under a hundred dollars i got a samsung galaxy a O A three or three S or wh whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but it was eighty dollars. But then I got a case for it, which was probably twenty dollars, and and it didn't come with a USB to C cord. It just had the you know USB C or whatever you know that newfangled one that everybody has switched to. It just had a cord that had that connection on both ends. Oh, I don't know what that's supposed to do. It didn't come with a power brick. It didn't come with nothing. So I ended up having to go back to Walmart and get the cord that I needed and a power brick that I needed. So it's good to go now, but uh, that stuff should come with it. Easily. No reason for that stuff to not come with your phone. For some reason these companies... Uh, all electronic companies think that everybody has these power bricks and cords laying around the house and in fact we don't and even if you do they might not be the proper amperage and uh, whatever else uh, a couple other things you got to think about there not just amps but whatever the other word is that I'm bad about that words slipped my mind super quick uh, but anyway you know not all power bricks are the same so anyway it's going good nice phone you know I'm not one of those people that like to upgrade phones or feel the need to all the time like a lot of people I'd rather just have a phone that works you know perfectly for the rest of my life I don't have to upgrade I'm not one of those people my digital SLR is a 2010 model. Yeah, sure, I'd like to have a new digital SLR. Or mirrorless, preferably these days. Or even a super nice point and shoot, you know, vlog style. Most of those anymore take just as good a picture as anything else and videos and everything else. So, you know. Anyway. Uh, it is a walk and talk, so that's what we're doing. I probably won't video this whole walk. My entire walk usually takes me about 35 minutes. So far, we're about 14, something like that. My walks are 1.8 tenths of a mile. A little bit of change off in there. And I used to do two walks a day, but anymore I just do one. That's a lot of time spending out here walking. I'm already busy working out and spinning on my bike and cooking every meal seven days a week. And if I decide to do housework, which I don't do a lot anymore, I do the bare necessities. <laughs> so anyway, you know, in between that and driving the bus and having to try to find time to sleep and other stuff you know only so many hours in the day so whew. yeah it's a gloomy gloomy little day today I don't like heat and humidity but I'm pretty ready for it I think I think I'm ready to enjoy that for about a week and then complain about that. 
but I think I'm ready for it. <sighs> so, depending on what Miss the Body Beat Down or Miss Mikeyson or Miss Old Mental Pickle has to say and you know what we think and what we come up with there may be a really big change happening on the body beat down my channel uh, looking at adding quite quite a, a large piece to the puzzle and uh, it just kind of depends on how we feel in a few months what we think and uh, so kind of it's one of those things where you're kind of excited for maybe it'll happen but it's also one of those things that you're kind of like well does it need to happen I don't know so we're gonna we're gonna assess the situation further once the time comes and see how we feel about it and uh, go from there <sighs> sorry about the runny nose but it's the way it is so anyway I guess we'll be done here. I'm going past my house again, which means I gotta go to the stop sign, turn around, go back to the end of the neighborhood again, then turn around and come back to the house. So, roughly a good halfway. A little bit more than halfway, because I don't have to do this part again when I come back. So, anyway, I just look at it as halfway. Well guys, I'm gonna get off the old camera here and uh get my day continuing on don't forget like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down with me your incredible host michael have a good friday be awesome stay awesome be an inspiration to someone today tomorrow next year including yourself because we matter more than anyone else in our lives all right Get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and we'll see you later, next time on The Body Beat Down. Peace. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it! <laughs>